cybersecurity enthusiasts, welcome back to Cybersecurity Gurukul, your ultimate guide in the digital realm. In today's episode, we're going to venture into a topic that's becoming increasingly prevalent in our technologically advanced society, inheritance scams on dating sites. This isn't just another online scam, it's a calculated deceptive tactic that targets unsuspecting individuals looking for love or companionship. These scams are not just about losing money, they're about the emotional trauma and breach of trust that victims experience. Understanding how these scams work, recognizing the signs, and knowing how to protect yourself are essential in navigating the world of online dating safely. So brace yourselves as we dive deep into this cunning world of digital deceit, unmasking the realities of inheritance scams. Stick around as we uncover the dangers, signs, and protective measures against this deceitful tactic. Inheritance scams on dating sites involve fraudsters pretending to be wealthy individuals who claim they are dealing with a significant inheritance. These cunning actors often create intricate personas, posing as attractive, successful individuals with tragic pasts and grand estates. They weave compelling narratives to lure their potential victims into a false sense of security and intimacy. The stage is set with tales of grandeur and wealth, often involving a sizable inheritance locked away due to some legal or logistical complication. The scammer paints a picture of a lonely soul, burdened with the responsibility of a vast fortune, seeking companionship and understanding in the vast digital landscape of online dating. The plot thickens as the scammer and victim build a relationship, often at a pace that's alarmingly fast. The scammer showers the victim with affection and promises of a future together, all while subtly laying the groundwork for the scam. The story of the locked inheritance becomes a recurring theme, a shared secret that creates a bond between the scammer and their unsuspecting prey. Inevitably, a crisis occurs. The scammer needs to unlock the inheritance but is unable to do so due to unexpected legal fees, taxes, or administrative costs. They turn to the victim, their trusted confidant for financial aid. The request is usually urgent and accompanied by a promise to pay back the funds as soon as the inheritance is accessed. It's important to note that the scammer's request for assistance is often framed as a heartbreaking plea, capitalizing on the emotional investment the victim has made. The scammer may express feelings of embarrassment or shame, further manipulating the victim's emotions and making it harder for them to refuse the request. These scammers often lure unsuspecting victims into their web of lies, weaving tales of vast fortunes, only to eventually request financial assistance to unlock the supposed inheritance. It's a cruel and calculated scheme designed to exploit the victim's empathy, trust, and desire for love. So as we navigate the digital dating world, it's crucial to remain vigilant and informed, recognizing the signs of such scams and knowing how to protect ourselves. Identifying these scammers is crucial. They are cunning, manipulative, and well-versed in the art of deception. However, they often exhibit certain patterns that can serve as warning signs for the vigilant. The first sign is the speed at which the relationship progresses. Scammers are eager to establish emotional connections, often confessing their love or attachment within a short period of time. If your online match is professing their love too soon, it's a red flag. Genuine relationships take time to develop, and rushing into emotional commitments can be a sign of a scam. Another common pattern is the creation of elaborate, often unbelievable stories. These tales usually revolve around personal wealth, inheritances, and complex family situations. The scammer might claim to be dealing with a significant inheritance, but they'll need your help to unlock it. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Scammers also tend to avoid video calls or in-person meetings. They will make excuses about their busy schedule, travel, or other commitments to avoid showing their face. This is because they might not be who they claim to be. They could be using someone else's photos or fake identities to lure you into their web of deceit. Lastly, be wary if your online match is overly secretive about their personal life. While privacy is important, excessive secrecy could be a sign that they're hiding something. They may refuse to share basic information about their job, family or past, or give vague, inconsistent answers when questioned. In conclusion, be cautious if your online match avoids video calls or in-person meetings. 
making excuses about travel or other commitments. Remember, your safety is paramount. Don't let your guard down and always trust your instincts when navigating the online dating world. Watch out for red flags! When navigating the world of online dating, it's crucial to be aware of the warning signs of inheritance scams. One of the key symptoms of these scams is when your virtual partner begins to request money. They may claim these funds are necessary for a variety of reasons, perhaps to pay legal fees, to settle taxes, or to cover administrative costs associated with their alleged inheritance. These requests might come wrapped in emotional appeals or urgent narratives designed to tug at your heartstrings and push you towards parting with your hard-earned money. However, this is where your alarm bells should start ringing loud and clear. Remember, in a legitimate inheritance process, such expenses are typically handled by professional legal or financial entities. They are not, I repeat, they are not managed through the personal bank accounts of individuals. So, if your online match starts asking for money to unlock their supposed inheritance, it's time to raise your guard. Legitimate inheritance processes are handled by professionals, not through personal bank accounts of individuals. Now, let's talk prevention. In this digital age, we must be our own best defenders against scams. Prevention is the key and it starts with awareness. Inheritance scams on dating sites are prevalent, but you can protect yourself with some simple yet effective strategies. Firstly, conduct thorough research on your online match. This means not just relying on the information they provide, but digging a bit deeper. Use social media platforms to verify their details. Are their profiles consistent? Do they have a regular social media presence? If their profile seems sparse or too good to be true, that could be a red flag. Another useful tool is reverse image searches. Scammers often use stolen photos, so if the image on the profile appears elsewhere under a different name, it could be a sign of a scam. Professional help can also be invaluable. If you're unsure, consider consulting with a cybersecurity expert or a trusted friend who's tech-savvy. They can help you identify potential red flags and guide you in the right direction. Secondly, never share personal or financial information with someone you've just met online. This might sound obvious, but in the heat of an online romance, it's easy to let your guard down. Scammers prey on this vulnerability. They may ask for your banking details, claiming it's to deposit their inheritance, or they might request personal information to prove their love for you. No matter how convincing their story, don't fall for it. Remember, real love takes time and certainly doesn't require your bank details. Keep your information to yourself and if your online match insists, consider it a major red flag. In conclusion, staying safe from inheritance scams on dating sites requires vigilance, research and a healthy dose of skepticism. Keep these tips in mind as you navigate the online dating world. Remember, your safety and well-being are paramount. Never share personal or financial information with someone you've just met online. If you suspect you've fallen victim to an inheritance scam, it's crucial to act promptly. The first step is to cease all communication with the person involved. Try not to panic, even though it's a stressful situation. It's important to remember that you're not alone and there are resources available to help you. Next, report the scammer's profile to the dating site where you met them. This can help prevent others from becoming victims as well. It's also important to contact your local authorities and file a report. Make sure to provide as much information as possible about your interactions with the scammer. If you've shared any sensitive information like your bank details or personal identification, it might be a good idea to contact your bank and inform them of the situation. They can guide you on the best steps to protect your financial resources. If money has been sent, report the incident to your bank immediately. Remember, it's never too late to seek help. Remember folks, the digital world can be a tricky place. Inheritance scams, like many others, are designed to prey on our emotions, our trust, and our hopes. They're built on the illusion of a quick fortune, a dream come true, but they often lead to nothing but heartache and financial loss. It's essential to remember, stay vigilant. When it comes to online dating, always prioritize your safety above all else. If something feels off, it likely is. Don't ignore those gut feelings and red flags. In the vast interconnected world of the internet, the best defense is an informed and cautious user. Equip yourself with knowledge, 
Be aware and remember, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and definitely share this video with family and friends. Until next time, stay safe in cyberspace. Namaste.